Okay. So we have a really special opportunity now. I'd like to um, let everybody know that we're going to go live from the Johnson Space Center where we're going to meet astronaut Karen Nyberg. Karen is going to take us through the inside of a mock-up of the Orion crew capsule that astronauts will use to fly to the moon. Thank you, Administrator Brian Stein. I'm astronaut Karen Nyberg, and I'm here at the Johnson Space Center, as he said, inside uh, a test version of the Orion capsule. Uh, over at KSC, you, of course, are seeing the real hardware, what, what is going to fly crews to space, um, to the vicinity of the moon. Uh, this is actually a, a volumetric um, mock-up. It's the same size, what you would expect, uh, what the, the Orion is. Uh, we've been using it quite extensively here at the Johnson Space Center for engineering and operational evaluations. And you really get a sense uh, when you're sitting in here, when you get inside, what it's going to be like for the crew uh, when we actually start taking it to the vicinity of the moon. Um, I'm sitting here next to the commander seat. The commander would be sitting here to my left. And in front of us are the displays. We have um, three three screens that we can switch depending on what phase of flight we're in. We can pull up any number of displays. Here we monitor all of our systems, communication, prop, uh, our ECLIS, uh, our electrical system. We can monitor our attitude in space and also our trajectories and also send commands uh, from here as well. It's quite slick. Uh, above my head, you'll see we have several windows, which I think is one, a key component for any, any vehicle that is going to carry people. And I'm sure this is going to provide a great view of the moon for folks as they're, as they're getting near. It's really an exciting time for everybody at NASA right now. Uh, you know, not only are we building Orion and SLS, but at the same time, we're continuing to do the work and, you know, living on board the International Space Station, doing research for investigators all over the world. Uh, we're also demonstrating some hardware uh, on the space station and, of course, fostering the commercial participation in space travel. And at the same time, getting ready in the development of Gateway and the lunar landers and all of the science payloads that are required uh, to, to establish that, that presence there is really, really exciting for all of us. Um, I have with me here uh, to, to show this is a, a lunar sample that was actually brought back from uh, one of the Apollo missions, and this one actually flew on a space shuttle to the space station. And we're really excited um, as crew to be able to uh, bring back samples like this for scientists to study again, and eventually, eventually samples from Mars. Back to you, Administrator Bridenstine. Well, Karen, uh, thank you for that, that brief and that update. Can you share with us as an astronaut, and I know you're working with the astronaut corps all the time, with all of these different capabilities that are under development right now and, in fact, now testing, um, we, of course, we've got the Dragon, we've got the Starliner, and now we've got Orion. Um, do the astronauts fight over who's going to fly which vehicle? <laughs> I, I don't know if we fight over it, but I think everybody, everybody uh, has, in their, has in their mind they, they want to fly something. Um, it, I think we're in a unique position now with so many different vehicles to fly on and I think I think most crews are just happy to get a space flight assignment.